In this problem, we come across a slightly more difficult issue where we have two terms inside the left-hand bracket, x plus 3, which makes the problem a lot harder than if it was just 3 times x times negative 4. So in this problem, we still use the distributive law, but in this case, we do it in two steps. For those who need a refresher on what the law is, it's just if you had, like for example, a times bracket b plus c, the law says that to get rid of the brackets, you just do a times b and plus a times c. So the answer would be a b plus a c. So in this problem, we do it in two steps. The first step being we take x by itself and multiply that into the second bracket on the right hand side. So x times x and x minus 4. So we would get x times x equals x squared, x times negative 4 equals to negative 4x. Now this is the second step where we treat 3 by itself and we distribute that to the right hand side brackets. So 3 times x and 3 times negative 4. So we would have plus 3x and plus 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So we've effectively taken the brackets away by using this law but in two different steps. We treat each term on the left hand side bracket by itself before multiplying through. So in this expression here we can see that it can be simplified even further because we have two like terms, the negative 4x and the plus 3x. So let's go ahead and simplify that. So x squared negative 4 plus 3x is negative x, then negative 12. And that's the furthest you can simplify it, and that's the answer to this problem.